April 15, 2018, Blodgett Peak Open Space. This little steep section from the water tower to the uh, upper road is blocked off with a fence. It looks like they want you to use a new trail. Here's some first up close evidence of the Waldo Canyon fire. I can only imagine how they stopped the fire right here. That must have been something. Thank you, firefighters. So here's a choice, either to go up to the right or to go left. And left, I see this little pink ribbon. And I saw a YouTube video where a guy talked about the pink ribbons. So I'm going to follow the pink ribbons. Well, I already lost the pink ribbons. But... Back there, there was three different paths going different routes. And it looks like the way to go is to stay left of this uh, stream bed that's behind me. Uh, so left of the stream bed. And now uh, it looks like a decent path. Still left of the stream bed. And this path seems quite reasonable. Yeah, it's steep, but it's well defined. Man, some guy just walked by me. Walking up this trail, this is a steep trail, and he was walking up it just at normal speed. The guy reminded me of a mountain goat. The way he just bounded up this trail. Here's another one of these left or right decisions. I'm gonna stay left, left of the creek bed. Damn it, here's another left or right decision. I'm gonna stay left. Here's another right or left. Right crosses the creek, left goes up steeply. I'm gonna keep it simple and go left. Now I'm coming up on a big rock face here. The rocks are on my left. The stream is to my right, and I'm going to stick to the left of the stream and to the right of this big rock. Let's see how that works out. Okay, left of stream and right of rock brought me to this spot. And it looks like I have to cross the stream here. And I'm gonna see if there's a way up around this rock. Okay, right of the rock. Now I'm right of the stream. There is a path. Just came from that trail down there. And there's that rock face there. And it is opening up, thank goodness. Oh man, this is a lovely overlook here. You can see the parking lot down there. Right about there. And the, there's the water tower. And there's that rock formation that was visible from the parking lot. And then right over here, I think that's the summit of Blodgett, right up there. Here's a route finding tip. When you get to this overlook spot, which was uh, after getting around those big rocks and the stream there's a cairn here and it looks like the trail goes off to the left or to the right and left goes downhill so it doesn't seem like you would go downhill but that's the way to go otherwise if you go uphill you end up in that talus field you go slightly downhill here and you'll be going back uphill very soon. It doesn't go downhill very far and this is the trail that goes to the left of the talus field. When you see the V tree here, 
there's a pink ribbon. And then you definitely want to go up to the left. These logs mark the trail. And you go up that way. That leads to the best trail. And you avoid the talus. This trail is going in between the big rock to the left and the, uh, the rock to the right with the talus. I love this challenge of this steep trail. Okay, I reached the saddle between those two big rocks. There's the rock that was to my left. And you can really see the devastation from the Waldo Canyon fire up here. This is looking west. There's Rampart Reservoir off in the distance. And this has got to be the summit up to the right. That's the highest point. A little bit of rock scrambling up here at the very top. Okay, I made it. And I'll do a little 360 tour here so you can see the views. Okay, looking west is Colorado Springs. And you cannot see the parking lot from here. But the parking lot is down that way. There's Shine Mountain and El Magre and Pikes Peak. I think that one is Orm's Peak. Never been there. Rampart Reservoir. Looking north now, there's the uh, Air Force Academy. It's really calm up here right now. I feel very lucky to have a calm day. Here's the turnoff for the Hummingbird Trail. And I just came down that way. And if I were gonna do this again, I would definitely take the Hummingbird Trail. It's much nicer than bushwhacking over by the water tower and I don't think it adds anything to the length. Back at the parking lot, round trip was four and a half hours.